Uh, hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a little bit of a uh, combined points tutorial video. If you have no idea what transfer skills are in this game, uh, they, they play a huge part in the competitive scene. It's a very fundamental thing you should probably uh, understand or we know this is what, I, what this video is for, you know. Uh, so I'm going to teach you what uh, transfer points and skill points, you know, not transfer points, you know, just how transfer works, right? Okay, so in order to, well, first off, in order to get the ability to get moves, you gotta combine points. You have to go over here to combine points and, you know, pick your monster. Pick the monster you want uh, to gain combine points. Uh, in this tutorial video, uh, I, I kind of, for funsies, I kind of want to rank up my chupacabra. Yeah, I don't know why I picked my my slime here, but uh, for this video, I want to put skill points into Chupacabra. Uh, I find his passive really cool, where he has a chance to avoid death. I find that neat. Uh, health will stop at 1 upon receiving the first killing blow and increases the physical evasion rate by 20%. I find it as a really little neat ability that it does. I, I find it neat. Uh, and when you, so you go to this, right? So you go to, you click on the monster, and then it pops up all your monsters. Why is it doing that? Well, in order to get combined points, you either have to sacrifice a, uh, you know, you have to sacrifice a monster in order to get those points, or you have to give uh, beads. You use beads here to use a substitute. Now, uh, I, I want to see real quick, uh, does it, can you use beads even if it's, okay, you can still use beads. So you can use these little beads here. Uh, these are Yado beads, if I'm not mistaken, or Yado beads. You use the, the beads here to use as substitute. These can be used on any uh, of your monsters regardless of level. But uh, if you don't use the beads, you have to use monsters of the same rarity. Uh, I do believe the higher level the bead is, the more points you get from it. So uh, keep a lookout for these beads. They are valuable. The nice thing is this doesn't cost any maka. So it's completely completely free in terms of uh, having to spend. Uh, in order to get combined points, you just combine it. Now you can get skills once you have done that. So you click the monster, right? Uh, say slime for example click on transferable skill transfer and then based on the amount of skill points you can pick up that move however uh you have to uh you have to dis you know discard a monster in order for that to work so not only do you need to combine monsters of the same rank in order to get the combined points you also have to give up the monster for the specific skill you need uh, and that monster has to have the skill. Obviously, if you, you know, sac when you sacrifice the monster, that skill, the monster has the transferable skill you are looking for. Really good transferable skills, in my personal opinion, are any skill that has multiple physical hits, and it's, it counts kind of like an AoE. It's kind of treated as an AoE. It's not exactly an AoE, but it is technically an AoE if it hits more than one person. Uh, it's really, really good uh, because they have the chance to crit, other good skills are single target high damaging elemental based skills. AoE based skills, eh, yeah, I, I, they're alright, but they're only good as long as the enemy didn't bring something that is null resisted to that specific element. It's much more safer just to go for single target uh, elemental based skills. It's, it's better anyway because you have to burst down monsters for the most part in this game. This is how the game works. But uh, that's kind of how you, you do it. I'll even uh, combine points here. Again, the nice thing is it doesn't cost any maka, and it's not level restricted. So you click on the monster you want to learn skills, and then we just decompose them here. We're getting rid of all these slimes because basically slimes don't have any good purpose anyway. <laughs> slimes, slimes aren't good, so they're just going to decompose that. Uh, again, uh, dip, but dip, you could use this on other stuff, can't you? Like other... Uh, you know, you could use this for your higher rank monsters. You can't, because again, you can only sacrifice monsters of the same rarity. So that's why you should really save your beads for higher rarity monsters. Because you don't want to give up... Uh, I'd say at most two. I, I don't think... Well, I think up to level three, maybe. Or rank three. Because I think rank threes are farmable at some point. 
uh, twos are totally farmable. I will say twos and ones are really, really farmable in this game. Uh, don't waste, you, I, I will say don't waste time in terms of, uh, you, you know, don't, don't use, you know, rank, you know, level twos, you ranked up to rank three for, you know, combined points. That's just a waste. Uh, you use those uh, twos that you got to three. I mean, I'm talking about like evolving here, which I'll probably do another guide on. But uh, use your evolving stuff for just evolving stuff. Uh, for combined points, use monsters you've recruited. I, I just think natural monsters you can just recruit or uh, the beads. That's that's really just about it. But yeah, for this, I'm, I'm just going to put all the points here. I plan on using this at some point. I don't know how good competitively it will be. Uh, because I, right now I know it's immune to lightning. It, it, it's its only weakness is lightning. It's resist. It doesn't have any weaknesses beyond that. Uh, and it has the ability to give evasion to the beginning of the game. So maybe I want to mess around with it in the future. I don't think I have anything for it yet. But I want to build up the skill points right now. I will say get a head start. And uh, before you even rank up your demon. Like evolve your demon. Just straight up. Give it as much skill points as you possibly can. That's what I recommend. So we're going to give this thing a bunch of skill points. Because there's a lot of ones I just don't need. And or they're just easy to recruit. So we're going to give it some more skill points here. We're going to just give it all the slimes. We don't, we don't need the slimes. They're not used in any good combinations. I, I might keep one just in case it comes up in a fusion. But... Uh, yeah, for the most part, I'm just decomposing the slime. Is there any other multiples of monsters I just know are just garbage in terms of fusion? Uh, I know the horses are pretty trash. Uh, yeah, five. There we go. So let's decompose it, yeah. We don't need this. Nice. Skill points obtained. And uh, the slimes are really easy to recruit, so it's not, it's not a big deal if you use slimes. I, I highly recommend, if you are going to make like a, uh, let's say for some reason you make a one competitive, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to decompose slimes. It's such an easy monster to recruit. Can I just make more? I can't. Okay, cool. So we can go over here to skill transfer and we can pull up the old... Uh, List here, he's just select Chupacabra and transferable skill. I do believe these these things carry on when you uh when you evolve them. So again, like if, if it starts at rank one or rank two or rank three, uh well rank three you just use the beads or if you don't care about recruit like even like di like just decomposing the uh the rank threes that you get through just uh recruiting them through the Aura Guardian. Or the Aura Garden, uh, just or the not the Aura Garden, the Aura Gate. Uh, feel free to decompose them. But obviously, the the better the scale, obviously the more expensive it is. The highest one seems to be this skill, which comes from the Lion, and that's not really good uh, in terms of uh, begging a lion for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's like I said before, single target fire skills. Or, uh, no, not fire skills, single target elemental skills or AoE, physical damage skills. Uh, specifically, the, the three hits that have a chance to crit are really, really good. Critting in this game is really, really awesome because you get more turns when you crit. Uh, but yeah, uh, how do you get, uh, what, what, how do you, well, how do you get, uh, skills then, Deb? How is the, like like I just said, you get it from the uh, the monsters you decompose. So totally look up, uh, look at the monster. Each skill has like a transferable skill, and it says so right here. See on the top, like the top left skill, the very first skill that it has right next to stealth called Mazan. That's this monster's transferable skill. So if you want to give Mazan to another monster, you would need uh, that appropriate amount of transfer points. I don't know how much transfer points you need for Mazan. But maybe we can look it up right here. Mazan might not actually pop up because we currently have it. Uh, 
wild guess. Uh, okay. But now that's that's how uh, transferable skills work. I hope this guide was helpful. If there's any more question, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll happy to be able to answer them for you. I'm Did the Awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next uh, guide. Yeah. <laughs> catch you guys later.